what's going on everybody this is going to be a real short video it's going to be dealing with the Hoda Mudhana you know the Isis bride lady it's gonna be dealing with especially uh, like mainly her lawyer her lawyer says that <clears throat> excuse me she is in fact you know an American citizen or whatever well there's a couple of issues there's a couple of things I could bring up to where she may have forfeited her right to be an American citizen, even if she was born in America after her uh, father quit his status as a diplomat. Okay, so let's get into a little bit of the like factual information about renouncing or losing your U.S. citizenship. This is on USA.gov. I'll put a link in the description. All right, it says here, you will no longer be an American citizen if you voluntarily give up or renounce your U.S. citizenship. Okay. You uh, might lose your U.S. citizenship in specific cases, including if you run for public office in a foreign country under certain conditions, enter military service in a foreign country under certain conditions, intentionally acquire citizenship in a foreign country, except if you acquire it through marriage to a foreign national you may become a dual national instead and here's here's the big one here's the kicker commit an act of treason against the united states now that's the one that they have grounds for because treason against the united states shall consist only in levying war against them or adhering to their enemies, which that is exactly what she did, giving them aid and comfort. She was an ISIS wife. That's exactly what she did. Exactly what she did. She went over there to Syria to aid and comfort ISIS males, people that are enemies of the United States. So just by that, even if she was a citizen, her citizenship would be revoked because of this. You see what I'm saying? Her lawyer, which seems like a really good guy, he seems actually like a decent level-minded person, pretty intelligent, but they're looking, they, they keep skipping over this one key fact, that she has committed treason. But there is one more thing to that. They may have to bring her back to charge her and convict her of treason. And, but it says here, no person shall be convicted of treason unless on the testimony of two witnesses to the same overt act. Now here's the thing. Now that's also a kicker. And it says, or a confession in open court. Well, here's the thing. All of her family have pretty much openly tes testified to being witnesses that she left to join ISIS. She herself said it. There's more than two witnesses there. You see what I'm saying? So she's pretty much legally forfeited her right to be an American citizen. So I don't know why there's so much fuss about this. I don't know why her lawyers coming out and saying that she should be brought back because clearly she shouldn't. She renounced her citizenship pretty much and, and she has no real leg to stand on to fight about coming back here. We'll see how it goes. I don't think it'll even make it to court because I think uh, the administration, this administration did the right thing and they're, and they're, bound by the law. They actually have the law on their side when you go and look at the nitty-gritty of things. So, I hate to tell her family, she probably will not come back, and nor should she come back. She went and supported enemies of America, people that all the time are preaching pretty much death to America, death to Americans, death to everybody in the Western you know, the Western circle of things. So, yeah. She screwed up big time. Bigger than she ever imagined she would. And now they're looking for kind of like a pity party. Uh, no sane person should take pity on someone who 
willingly committed act of treason against the United States. Especially by going and joining ISIS, one of the biggest enemies of the world. But yeah, just wanted to... Uh, just wanted to put the, those facts out there for y'all. Uh, as always, like, share, comment, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.